So Chris, you've just been in the cryotherapy chamber. What, what does it feel like in there? It's obviously minus 135 degrees, seems pretty cold to me. Yeah, it, it's cold, but it's nothing It's nothing major. Like, I'd do that any day and get jumped in a nice bath, which is what, minus, minus two, minus three, even that. So, no, it's all right, especially when you come out here, it's even nice and warm as well. So how many times have you actually used the chamber so far? Um, we've been in it about three or four times, uh, including today, uh, generally after a match. We used it a couple of times for training as well, so we used it after the Bradford game of the weekend and you do feel the benefits straight away. What, what are the significant benefits that you've noticed so far? Like I said before, probably sleep's the one for me. Uh, getting probably about between 8 and 9, it's just start getting a bit drowsy, sat, sat on the sofa at home. But uh, no, as well, you're back in training a lot quicker. It's uh, You tend to really struggle probably Monday after a Sunday game, Tuesday still so. And like today we've come in and we've done, we've done quite a bit. Obviously the lads used it Sunday, so it's a, it's a great benefit we can get on with preparing there for us field. So Chris, we've got the cryotherapy chamber behind us. Um, how did it all come about introducing this at the Warrington Club? Um, well, I've, I've seen it in 2005 and, you know, nothing really came of it, you know, normally the units are all, you know, stationary and you've got to travel miles to get to them. Um, and then, obviously, with a uh, new physio, Ben, coming, he, he told me about the idea of a uh, possible uh, mobile unit. Uh, from the really got Ian Bridge involved, uh, the guy who's had a, a lot to do with this uh, building of the mobile unit. And uh, it kind of snowballed from there, really. And um, you know, as you can see behind us, we've, we've now got use of the full uh, mobile unit. And have all the players responded well to the new type of treatment as well? Yeah, there's been a, a, a real positive response to it. Um, obviously, with the ice, you know, the ice bath, um, you know, players get down high, they have to jump in and get cold, and you know, it, it, it's a real bad effect on the body, you know, and you're looking for positives against the negatives. Whereas, with the cryotherapy, when you you know you first tell them that they're going to go to minus 130 degrees, they start start getting a bit sceptical. And then once the actual actually the first bloke comes out and it's done, the first two people, sorry, and they say it ain't that bad. They, you know, they're like lemmings. They, they all start following and, and jumping in. So you know, there's been no negative feedback really from it. it it's been, all been positive. So can't really complain. And Stuart, so can you first just tell us a little bit about BOC and the sort of work that you do? Yeah, sure. Uh, BOC traditionally is an industrial gases company, uh, but we also have um, a healthcare arm. So we're we're interested in sort of innovation and uh, other aspects that use our gases, and we're also experts on handling liquid uh, products like liquid nitrogen, and that's exactly what uh, fuels the the cryo chamber. So we have one of our regular wagons that's slightly adapted to provide the the coolant, if you like, for the the chamber. And it made a lot of sense that uh, we actually bring this to the UK because being the experts in handling liquid liquid gases safely, uh, we, can, we can fill up wherever we need at any of our sites around the country and uh, park up wherever the clubs need us to. So.